Out of there, guys and gals. Now that I've got my bearings on the Valiant effort, it's time to spring into action. I hope this goes in the right direction. So today, my goal is to rip this front end out. It needs a lot of work. Even though the previous owner selectively replaced certain pieces of it, I'm going to have to redo the whole front end on this thing. And the best way to do that is to rip it all out, clean it up, and start over. So let's take a look and see what we got. This being a 75 front end, it comes with the disc brake fronts. I've already gone around and cleaned around the nuts and bolts and ball joints and spent a good week hosing it all down in penetrating oil. The downside is Texas suffered its second polar vortex and the whole front end of this car was rained on and frozen. So I don't know how much oil is left in all those joints that I sprayed it in. The front end has been marinated for years with road grime and apparently leaking 318 blood. But as you can tell, a few things have already been replaced along the way. Including on the driver's side, they replaced the upper ball joint. And this shock. Because apparently, the passenger side shock was still good. And passenger side ball joint. These brake pads still look relatively new-ish. So I'm going to assume that all the general maintenance was only done on the driver's side. These brake pads look alright. But we're going to go ahead and replace all the steering joints on this. Get it working just like new. I fear that this steering box is probably going to be the hardest thing for me. Not sure I can get to the roll pin there. Might just take the box off. Though I'm pretty sure many of y'all in the comment section will leave me helpful advice on how I should have done this. Again, unfortunately, by the time you see this, Hopefully this front end will already be out. So yeah, your comments will not help at all. But I'll know for the future. So I think I'll start by loosening up these torsion bars. Trying to get all the tension off the front end. Y'all thought the rear floor pans were bad. The fronts are just as good. Oh, this car just keeps getting better and better the more I look at it. I don't know how many beer cans and epoxy it would take to fix this car but I'm pretty sure it would lead to alcoholism. I've never had to loosen torsion bars. I figure I'm just gonna loosen them to take the tension off, but I don't know how much to. Hmm. Let's just keep doing it until shit starts. Ah. I'm going to assume to loosen it until it's loose. Yeah, that makes sense. If it's not glaringly obvious yet, this will definitely not be a how-to of any sort on how to do a front end on a Mopar. Oh, ah. Yeah. Ah, I can barely fit underneath this thing. But if you are looking for how-to type videos on how to do a front end on a Mopar, Check out Johnny Mopar. He does a great job. He's building a Dodge Charger over there and he goes through every part on the front end of that car. And he shows you how to install them. So check Johnny Mopar out. He knows what he's doing. I, on the other hand, do not. Oh, I can barely fit under this thing. Ugh. Ah, well that's loose. Ah, not really sure how I should take all this apart. Do know I need to get the steering box off somehow. Ugh. Yeah. Yep. Definitely don't fit under here very well at all. Ugh. Oh, so many rocks. Ugh. Wonder 
what the odds that these will come off easy. That's what I thought. Uh, let's try the other side. Yep. Of course. Looks like we're gonna have to do this by hand. Oh, oh. Well, that too ain't bad. Oh, it's still not the right size. Nope. Ah, no. Oh. The fact that these are actually unscrewing amazes me. I was already assuming that I was going to have to go straight for the Sawzall. See if we can uh, knock loose these uppers. Oh, whoops. It's not what I wanted to do. Oh, the good news is this apparently has grease on it. And, uh, might have been serviced. Semi clean. Oh, of course, I only have one of those wrenches. And there's absolutely no way I can get the impact in there. Oh, I hope this doesn't turn into a bad tree situation where I've got to, you know, cut these out. See how stuck they are. There we go. Let's see. Nope, definitely gonna need a a hammer. So far, I'm really glad that I spent several days hosing this down. All right, I'm definitely gonna need a hammer and a pry bar knock these loose and to find out if I'm going to suffer like Blake from Bad Tree Productions. If y'all go watch his Nacho Barracuda build, you'll understand what I'm talking about. So yeah, go check that out. All right, I went ahead and grabbed the iron motivator, the iron irritant, and when all else fails, the iron violets. Let's see if we can knock this thing loose. Keep loosen these. Aha! There we go. Yeah, that seems semi loose. Nope, that didn't help me at all. Hmm. I wonder if this one will go out. Aha! Hey, that one went. Kind of. One down. I don't know if I can only figure out how to get this other one. Really feels like it's in there. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to remove this shock. Just disappointing because I'm using it to pry. A little bit of jiggling on this. Oh, there you go. y'all well oh, I don't even know if y'all been able to see what I've been doing this whole time oh stupid GoPros all right well hopefully y'all can kind of see what I'm doing there we go 
Yep, I hear it clapped out GMC. Making all the noise. One. I guess I should try to remove this uh, shock tip. Don't want to forget this thing. I think you can order new washers like this, but just in case. At least not want not. I'm debating about just cutting this or actually taking it off. Oh yeah, that thing is mint. All right, let's tackle this other side. We get lucky over here too. You know, since this side looks like it's been getting all the service compared to the other side, maybe it'll be easier. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, oh, perfect. will say I do feel for you a body guys as a truck guy there's absolutely no room to work underneath these things you can't get any of those good power tools this time I'll do what I did on that side and loosen it up first hmm yeah I think so. Ow. I think so. Ow. All right, let's see if we can pop some cam bolts out. Oh, hey. Yahtzee. Again, not really sure what that means. I just know it's a game. These days I might try to play it. Looks like the side's gonna fight us again. Oh, as I can't even really see. I know y'all can't see what I'm doing. I can barely see what I'm doing. Aha, uh -huh. come on. There we go. Dang, two for two. That side came out a lot easier. It's funny once you kind of figure out what you need to do. Almost like I got a process now. Aha! Perfect. Delete this shock. All right, what else? I think we need to work on um, the steering box. Yeah. We'll see if we can uh, do something about that. I'm looking forward to that one. Oh, dang steering column so locked up. Go get some punches. Nope, that's too big. Yeah, that size. Maybe. Oh, it's working. Right, that went way better than I thought it was going to. Awesome. All right, y'all, I think I've got this thing pretty close. But those brake lines are already cracked anyways, they're gonna have to be replaced, so we'll just delete them. Well, 
Wow, nothing came out of them. I don't think these brakes worked. Actually, no, they didn't. Apparently, they run off powdered brake fluid. Oh, it must be one of those where you just add water and they work. Let's knock out this other one. Yep. Oh, that one had a little bit in it. Good, that's dripping right on my tarp. All right, y'all. What we're going to do... Safety first. I'm going to shove this floor jack underneath this. Jack it up. Loosen the bolts and try to get this cave member out. Hopefully it just slides out. I don't know if it will or not, but we'll see. I will say, uh, I'm very jealous of the Dodge Whisperer in his shop right now. Heck, I'd even go for Germany, a bad tree production shop. A lot better than laying on tarp and gravel. Now to put it on full violence. I didn't mention before I saturated this thing for three days with penetrating oil and then it got rained on and froze so I'm really not sure how well that's working oh let's start get underneath the car yeah oh, here we go oh wow that so apparently the oil got into the frame better on this side than the other well I think now's the time let's lower this jack and find out how bad it is y'all watch closely uh oh it's already catching on something what did I forget So here's the problem I have now. I've got to pull this thing forward in order to pull out of the torsion bar area, which I didn't plan very well. I was told to knock these torsion bars back, but in my infinite wisdom, I thought I could pull this out of them. Ah, let's continue. I wonder if we just do tappy tap. This plan didn't go the way I wanted it to. Not at all. Thought for sure it would just slide out. I'm starting to think I probably shouldn't be hammering on those things. But that bar is pulling out. I'll hammer on the power steering box. That seems like a good idea. I couldn't see, but I'm Definitely slightly tapping on these, which I'm pretty sure is not the right thing to do. But I'm gonna keep doing it. What are y'all doing down there? I'm just gonna assume it's a bad idea to be doing this, but I don't have a lot of great ideas. Whoop, there's one. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and assume this is in a bind. So we'll be extra careful. So close. So close. Not sure if I'm making progress or causing more damage. Can't imagine all these dents that I'm putting in this are good. Y'all just ignore that. Don't don't look at it. Oh, 
Nope. Oh. Felt that in the back too. <sighs> Damn it. Ugh. This is not going well. I'm starting to think I probably should have listened to those guys telling me what to do the right way. I'm getting there, y'all. Just trying to figure it out. Oh! Kicking. Nope. 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 All right. Since things weren't going my way with the iron violence, I did the right thing and got the diesel powered torsion bar remover. That's right. Again, I can't emphasize enough. Don't do the things I do. I do them because I'm an idiot. And also, I get tired quickly. So we'll see how this goes. Wow, that thing's really stuck. I think I'm gonna need to chuck the tires better. Good, the car's about to fall off the jack stands, and this is still not off. Great. Well, these no, hoses are ruined anyway, so awesome. Well, y'all, that's how not to remove the front end out of an A-body. Learning experience. Apparently, you can't be as violent with A-bodies as you can trucks. Who would have thought? Maybe next time, we'll start rebuilding this and see how bad it is. Hopefully, I didn't bang up too many things with that uh, iron violence. Don't worry, torsion bars are still there. And I straightened the jack stands. That's gonna do it for today's episode. Stick around. Maybe next time I'll rebuild that. And again, I probably should assess this car a little bit more. I don't know if y'all noticed, but the floors are getting worse the more I look at it. It's really starting to look like a no-go situation on this one. Definitely no-go.